Louise Roberts is a News Corp journalist who spent many years working in Fleet Street in London and covering the royals. She covered, covered the death of Princess Diana 25 years ago. Louise joins us now. Louise, great to see you. How are you? I'm good. Good morning, Rowan. Good morning, everyone. Um, so let's kick off. Uh, we, we're having a heated debate here in the commercial breaks about <laughs> the future of uh, King Charles. So we'll get mm. your thoughts on that in a second. But uh, first, your thoughts really just on the reflections on the last couple of days since the death of Queen Elizabeth. I think um, it's just showed the fantastic appreciation we have had for Queen Elizabeth and maybe what holds for the future. Maybe we're sort of wondering where Charles will go in her legacy in a way. And I've been very struck by the flowers and the response of the public, in particular the crowds gathering around Buckingham Palace, which can only serve to remind me of what it was like 25 years ago covering Diana's funeral and the massive outpouring of grief and how it really changed the public narrative, the way the Brits grieved in public, because previously the Brits had not done that, of course. It was very much the um, stiff upper lip. Mm. Rita? Mm. Um, there's been a fair bit of turmoil within the royal family, sadly, in, in recent years. Fractures, deep fractures between Harry and Meghan and, and Prince, or now King Charles, and also Prince William. We've seen the four young royals together walking. Mm. Um, and there's just a lot of conjecture, and I'm interested in your opinion about whether this sadness will bring them together or could that fracture deepen because there's been a notion that uh, the Queen was a moderating force for Harry and Meghan. They were very careful not to say anything personally negative about her and they didn't want to disappoint her. And now that she's gone, you know, that book that Harry's releasing, is it, is it going mm. to cause even more turmoil in this family? I think um, William and Kate obviously have played a very good hand again by orchestrating that photo opportunity this morning. I think whether it fractures the relationship between the two brothers and indeed the two wives is very much dependent on Harry and Meghan at this point because oh, clearly um, the, prince, the new Prince of Wales, William, has his eye on supporting his father and his eventual reign as monarch as well. And it's very much dependent on whether Harry and Meghan, let's hope they don't go ahead and publish a book, unlikely as that is. Mm. It's all driv it's, uh, driven by their behaviour. It's not driven by William and Kate. They're mm. They're very much, you know, within the folds of the monarchy and wanting to, it to be a new positive era for um, the royal family in Britain and across the across the globe, really. So, they'll, in a way, they'll be sort of reacting to whatever you know course of action. Meghan and Harry take next. Mm. Daisy. Mm. It was quite notable, speaking of Meghan and Harry, that Harry left Balmoral after the Queen passed away before any of the other family. There mm. was that footage of him just hot-footing it onto the jet. Um, do you think that could be indicative of just a terrible amount of discomfort he felt with the family? Like, even after the moniker died, he couldn't bear to stay there? Or was it something to do with Meghan's influence? Is her influence that powerful that she can drag him back from <laughs> the death of his grandmother? What do you reckon? Well, I hope it's not the latter. I mm. mean, you know, blood is blood in the royal family, and you could it, even that sort of very unseemly sort of scramble where Meghan's people announced that she, in fact, was going to go up to Balmoral to see the Queen, which, of course, horrified the, the palace courtiers <laughs> who, behind the scenes, were thinking, oh, this can't happen. And obviously, Kate was still in um, England with the children who had their first day at school, so that was the perfect excuse to say, well, Kate, as a future Queen, of course, is in England. There's no reason for, for Meghan to come up to um, Balmoral. And in fact, Prince Charles... Uh, sorry, um, King Charles had to ring his, um, his son and say... Megan's not welcome. I mean, in the nicest possible way, that that she she wasn't supposed to come to Balmoral. It was only for very close blood relatives. So whether Megan behind the scenes was demanding TikTok, you know, Harry get back to um, to London <laughs> remains <laughs> remains to be seen. There's certainly a very um, strong hold over him. There's no doubt. Rita. And uh, we've since learnt that the Queen's eldest two children were with her as she mm. passed away, and, yeah. and, and Charles. But you mentioned the book and the release of this book will definitely cause a stir amongst the royal family. Mm. But there's also camera crews who follow this couple. They're, they've signed on with uh, Spotify and Netflix and all sorts of other different sort of projects. Again, is that something that's causing concern amongst the royal family, that they're going to be ending up in some documentary um, for, for Meghan's projects with um, 
Netflix. Absolutely, no doubt. Every royal expert I've spoken to in the UK says the same thing. They're worried about any any private conversation, any photo opportunity. Um, and for example, when Lilibet met her um, grandmother or great grandmother rather, um, there was no photograph released after that, precisely probably for that reason. They didn't want it to end up in a, a documentary or end up in, you know, an expose in the New York Times or whatever whatever other avenue that um, Meghan and Harry wanted to follow from that point of view. So I do think they're very guarded, which is which is very sad because mm. you think about any family situation with the royals and if, and if the sons, the brothers, are, are trying to reconcile at least behind the scenes or if not privately, if there's always an issue that something may leak out, that puts terrible strain on a relationship.